When you hear the name Leonard Nimoy, it's hard not to think about Mr. Spock, the half-Vulcan, half-human science officer that he played on the classic TV show Star Trek, which aired on NBC for three seasons during the late 60s. At the core of the show were three characters that drove many of the stories during the show's initial run, Kirk, Spock, and McCoy. And the actors that played them, they had such great chemistry together. I really grew to love these characters. Truthfully, when I come to think of it, I love the entire cast of the show. Each one of the characters were so well developed and most importantly, interesting and fun to watch. When NBC canceled the show after its third season, fans thought that they might be saying live long and prosper to these characters forever. But a few years later, the animated version of Star Trek debuted. I still remember when this show premiered on Saturday mornings during the fall of 1973. I was so excited for Star Trek to be back. Among the highlights was an episode titled Yesteryear, written by the great DC Fontana. This story is one of my favorites from the series, and you know what? My trusty little viewmaster allowed me to relive the episode over and over, long before video cassette recorders were widely available. Since we're talking about Leonard here, it's probably worth mentioning this book, which was published right after the animated version of Star Trek. It seems that there was a brief moment in time when Leonard didn't want to fully embrace the fact that millions of Americans would forever see him as the loyal, brave, and mostly emotionless Mr. Spock. I think it was probably tough for Leonard because he'd done so many things. Heck, he'd been on Mission Impossible, and he'd been the host of In Search Of, and yet everywhere he went, he was instantly recognizable as one character alone, Mr. Spock. No one else. Ultimately, it would take a little time for Leonard to become more comfortable with the fact that he would forever be known as Spock. Upon realizing the error of his ways, Leonard course corrected with this wonderful book and positive affirmation that he was indeed Mr. Spock. It seems that somewhere along the way, Leonard recognized that he'd learned a thing or two, and as such, he wasn't afraid to share these aha moments with fans. Before I get to Leonard's stunning final message, let me share another one of these learnings first. The miracle is this, the more we share, the more we have. Wow, so very true and yet not always an easy thing to acknowledge for any of us. Leonard did his very best to practice what he preached. I've put together another video about Leonard's kind, generous, and loyal spirit. I'll post a link to it at the end of this video, but enough stalling. So what was Leonard's final message to fans? Well, here it is, via a tweet that he sent just four days before his passing. A life is like a garden. Perfect moments can be had, but not preserved, except in memory. Live long and prosper. Folks, I'm not going to try and add anything to Leonard's wise words. Instead, I'm going to just be quiet for a moment and let his final message to fans sink in. So that's it. Please feel free to share your thoughts in the comments section. And while you're at it, I'd love a thumbs up if you enjoyed this video. And I would be absolutely honored if you would consider subscribing to my little channel. I talk about music, movies, and mostly TV from the 50s, 60s, 70s, and 80s. You know, the good stuff. But most importantly, and as always, thank you so much for watching.